So the chick's gone. <laughs> but this guy's not dead. So he, he can't even reach a med without her. He can't eat him for anything. Even though I wouldn't feed him when he's only very hungry. And I've only got one fucking chicken leg. <laughs> so the only thing I can do is wait, put him to sleep, and have him read because he can't talk. So um, I'm going to have him you know, re well, not read, but, you know, listen, and, um, I'm gonna hope she comes up today, <laughs> and she doesn't just pop in tomorrow, I mean, because, because if she does pop in tomorrow, then I've, I've lost the whole day, and they could steal more stuff tomorrow, like, they could steal my bandages when I'm gonna need to, because <laughs> she's probably gonna come back wounded, Hopefully she doesn't, because it is possible that she just comes late, but it, when they come late, like, they're not just immediately here, which is pretty rare when they just come back immediately, fine, but she's, it's generally because she's wounded that she would take longer to get here. If she doesn't get here today, then she's probably wounded. Hopefully she's not sick too, because I've got... I've only got bandages, which is only for physical wounds. So... <laughs> FPS is only at 3. Maybe I'll close my video editor, hang on. So I'm not actually using it. Maybe... I'll also close this real quick. Right, anyway... <clears throat> Hopefully it picks up a bit more. <laughs> I, I can't even close Steam because the fucking game's running through it. Just forgot. But yeah, this one should be a bit long, long uh, sorry, a bit shorter than um, my normal streams. Since I do this as a stream, as, as you should know. That's some news. It's probably like the, like the military talked about fucking killing this gun. Or maybe people are going to be like, yeah, they, they saved us, yay, or something like that. Maybe, it, maybe a mix of both. Probably will be, because last time I got two, last time I got some actual news from this. Which would be interesting, because I mean, it's clearly going to come at a loss to me if I help people. So... You've got to really keep balance to how much you help people and, you know, how much you help yourself. Because it seems like every time you help people, you're going to get fucked up in turn. I mean, and if you're dead, you can't really help anyone, so... Aha, got something. Alright, so that's probably two things that it's found then. I wonder if any of them's going to be something he can post back. I mean, I, I have said that I'm going <laughs> to just straight up be like, fuck the military, like, full on in this LP, but it's, I feel like it's going to be fucking super hard. Like, I I don't even think it's going to be full on, fully possible. Like, I feel like I'm going to hit a wall pretty fucking soon. It's like, I'm going to have to drastically change how, how I do things <laughs> to, to really get through here. I'm gonna have to take some risks elsewhere, and God, just I just want to fucking walk through that. No, that's not her. Fuck, he, he can't get here. Oh fuck! If it, oh shit, this that could be super important because that's not the trader. So that's probably really important. That that guy could be coming over to drop fucking materials on me or give me medicine or something and. She's not here. He's gonna leave before she. God, fuck. <laughs> oh man, this is the worst. The fucking time someone comes here. I mean, he, he's probably just here to talk, but he could actually give stuff and be like, "Thank you for saving us." But so, hell, it could even be a new fucking survivor. That would just help immensely because I could just leave one of them on guard while the other one's out scavenging. Because. Malik's not going to be able to stay on bloody guard. Alright. 
broadcast. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty much just like, fuck the military. Okay, I only received one. Current weather forecast, the temperature is going to drop below zero to... Oh, fuck. Uh, I completely forgot about the weather because there's just so much other shit going on. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> this is fucking brutal. <laughs> Fucking hell. What am I meant to do? There's someone waiting outside. You can't you can't go there, can you though? Fucking uh, Esme went looking for supplies but couldn't find anything. Okay. Okay, Esme's back. Esme's back. She can she can answer the door. She can answer the door. Starving tide. Okay, she's not wounded, so she can heal here. All right, this is this is great. She's not even sick either. She's limping. That's because she's starving. I'm gonna have to feed her the last chicken leg, because then she's not gonna be able to be very effective during snow slow news today. Sorry. That's fine. You made it out alive. Man. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I've still got a lot to worry about, though, because the military's up my ass, and the cold's gonna be coming in, and I've got, I've got nothing, essentially. First thing I'm doing, though, is I'm bedding that kind of after, after this. And I'll definitely eat before I fucking send her off. I'm going to see you, I need to talk to you. <sighs> what are you doing, Esma? Oh, shit. Oh god, she's not having a breakdown, she's... Oh fuck, she's uncontrollable, wait, no, is she controllable? Esma, Esma, please let me con... Don't be in that broken down state where I can't control you, you're not depressed, are you? Are you depressed? I mean, it's, it's not coming off depressed here, so they generally gotta be depressed when I can't. She's only tired. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> I, uh... Fuck! Now she's gonna starve, and I can't. In one piece, I'm tired. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, something was just glitching out. <laughs> oh man! I thought it was just she was depressed, and I. He wasn't showing up for some reason. I'm not afraid. I will do my duty, whatever it takes. I'm glad to hear you're, you're fucking optimistic about this, buddy. Because <laughs> I'm not right now. Oh, uh, fuck. Good day, Esma. I just wanted you to tell Malik something. Okay. Sure. Let's hear it. Looks like a plumber, eh? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's the filter. Kinda, kinda giving me that Mario impression now. It looks like it's red. He's, he'd better watch out. Watch what he says on the radio. Pissing off the army is unwise. I've already made a commitment, you see. One that I really am already regretting, but... At least he's happy with it, so... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll let him do him. Even though I'll probably fucking kill him. I I hope he makes it out alive, honestly. Think about it, you don't want a dead squad, a uh, death squad at your door, do you? Yeah, exactly, you, you, you're gonna fucking get one. Like... <laughs> Unless the, the people, like, we can put out a thing We did say we were threatened on the radio, but I don't think anyone's gonna come. The way that guy just came in and talked, I feel like that's that's the response from that choice that I made. That is not. Mm. Mm. And he's gonna be starving in like a day. I need two, two 
meals to cure her starving, so she's still going to be starving. Most likely. Um, like, I can't, I can't do a fight with her in this state. And how else am I going to get a weapon if I don't know? I'm not... I don't... I hope I'm not stuck against the wall. Or I'm just going to constantly have to go through a fight scenario with her, like, limping around like this and just constantly recording myself, fighting them and constantly dying and having to restart and just cutting and editing through so much footage. So I feel like I'm going to hit that kind of wall that's going to drive me nuts just doing it over and over again. That's the sort of stuff that's really stressed me out with a selfie here. Yeah. Just hit one of those walls. Too bad we've run out of cigarettes. <laughs> again with a fucking cigarette. Oh my god. Once you start caring about the characters, I gotta admit, the game really knows how to make you stress out about all the many factoids that would really bring down people's life, quality of life, and everything, you know? So I really like that aspect of it, you know, when Akira or Betrayal, that's in an interesting style of game. Like, it doesn't actually hit the game for your experience with it, but rather enhances it. God, is... Where's she going? Fuck, no. Give him bandages. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be going to bed, are you? Give him the bandages. There you go. These people are so... Yeah, yeah I'm scared the armies... <laughs> What's he gonna say? I, I, I just, just really want to know what he's gonna say. Come on, Esma, we are saving lives. That's neither easy nor safe. So it's interesting that she's worried about saving him, and he's worried about saving others. Where it's like you can't really do either, you either pick one or the other. It's not necessarily like an angel and devil on the shoulders, but it is kind of like the two choices being the two characters, kind of. I don't know, I find it interesting. We must tell people the truth, they need it desperately in these times. True. It's, it's a hard choice that either one, I wouldn't really shame someone picking one of these sort of grim situations it's, it's kind of like that philosophy like where you do you leave the train to run over the five people or do you pull the lever to kill the one person but if something happens to you what then who will help them you know because if you pull that lever then and you're a murderer so you will go to jail for it and you're still technically killing someone it's just like you're only killing one person instead of like five you know so is it really worth it it's always a, a very interesting philosophy. Um, we can cower in fear or stand in fight. <sighs> Buddy, you, you're putting your wife at risk too here. Like, I I want to agree with him, but he, he's he's saying we. For me, the choice is easy. We must have the courage to live in truth. Like, I don't disagree with him, but it's just like. You're putting your wife at risk too, so it just it, it makes me feel like he's kind of a an an ass for, for like being like this. Because just putting her in the situation too. So mm. There's a real Patrick right here. Oh boss, some peace and quiet uh no no time for pipe dreams. <laughs> Pipe dreams, that's an interesting um, way to phrase it. Yeah, I'll get her to eat, him to broadcast, and then she can go to sleep. Hopefully, I, I really don't think that's going to be enough to get rid of the starving status, but 
we can always dream. We can always have our pipe dreams. Wait, does he not have the bro? Oh, wait, no, he does. Alright. Cool, cool. Uh, I don't know where to get that fucking pickaxe. And it's gonna drop below zero degrees Celsius. It's gonna pick up fucking temperature drops real quick in the next couple days. And it will be about three days? Yeah. I'd say three days. That would take to get below zero degrees. And it'll start snowing. Current weather forecast. Yeah. It is getting colder every day. Make sure you have enough firewood if central heating is unavailable where you live. I mean, that's not something that would hinder the military even, so that's not something I'd worry about broadcasting the weather thing. So I gotta worry about. I mean, I don't feel like I gotta worry about depression with these guys. They, they're surprisingly capable of, with handling, like, the facing depression with all they're going through, but, like, I've gotta worry about starving cold not too much the uh sleep but um and you know that them fucking getting shot down so it's just one too many factoids it's quite stressful with this game but and i can't even i don't think i mean like i need i need fucking supplies so hard and i Practically found fucking no supplies this whole fucking LP. Alright, yeah, cause she she can't fucking run anymore because she's she's fucking still starving. So so when I send her out tonight, she's gonna be fucking useless. Pretty much. Well she's very hungry, so he's gonna be starving too. Meaning I'm gonna have to get a boatload of fucking food. Or I'm fucked. And the one trader that I did talk to, he he has did he have food? Shit, the alcohol was taken. That's my one good trading fucking. Cause cause alcohol is like fucking diamonds pretty much for trading, you know, like they're they're the be all end all like in trades. It's the, one of the best fucking things for trading. Although it's also one of the best things to fight depression in this game, so Mm. Certainly one of the easiest, because you can just improve their quality of life by adding a bunch of beds and couches and radios and stuff, you know. As usual, it's the Comco people who suffer the most. I, I don't know what Comco is. It sounds like a brand or a building or something. I don't know. American reference, I guess, maybe. Pharmacy, bakery. I haven't even visited the warehouse yet. Well, I was, had danger and I was planning to go to the next. And I was fucking stressed out. Group of armed thugs, but you generally would find some good loot there. These two are new. Because there was no pharmacy or bakery that you would go to originally. So I'm going to go to one of these two. I'm going to choose Bakery, I think, because it will probably have more food, and I fucking need that because my characters are going to starve and they're going to be useless. But, you know, Pharmacy, I, I do need the meds for the here, and when we're going, like, because we've got nothing for eating, we're going to have to get meds to keep the guys alive. But, like, I need so many meds because I'd have to be popping them daily. But this is fucking brutal. This is fucking... Right, let's read this. Novak used to be my friend. He ran the best bakery in the city. But I haven't seen him since the siege began. Maybe it's not a bad idea to visit him. He might even have some food to spare. That was interesting. That seems like it's a story-related thing to go to. The toy store is locked off. Still. Ghost house, I don't think I noticed or talked about that before but yeah that seems to be locked off wasn't anything in it let's see the pharmacy real quick two brothers who lived on the first floor used to run a successful farm robbery. all right fine so it's there's gonna be like multiple floors kind of things so that might i don't want to 
lot on that because I haven't found jack shit though. Maybe it's worth checking out if they're still alive after the recent shelling. If they're okay and have some medical supplies, Malik would inform the people. They'd be relieved to know. So that's pretty much like assured that. Mm. I need to help my guys more, so I'm going to the bakery. Oh, oh wait, I don't think there's gonna be a, a rush. I mean, my character's not even gonna fucking be on a run. Plus, there's two stories. It's gonna be a bit of a trek. I wonder if Novak still is here. Novak, yeah, Fallout New Vegas, that's it, one of my favorite games. Maybe I can still find something useful here. Alright, so this is probably going to be a peaceful place. At least that can um, be something to take my a little um, stress off me when playing this. Nothing there. What, what is this? Can she actually get up there? I mean, if that's that, she must be able to. Maybe I've got to trek all the way around and... Oh, what? Oh, okay. And you just jump along? Okay. Interesting. My special awareness now, uh, more like my OCD, is kind of just flipping me out. Nothing but useless junk. There's nothing on there, so I might as well come down. Ooh. Interesting. It almost makes me feel like it's London, the way that's laid out. That, that little... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. She can actually talk to him. Alright, she can run. Alright. Alright, she has running enabled. I'm gonna fucking need to break that open. God, it's only just started and the fucking music's kicking in pretty hard. Talk to him first, because that's generally the most important thing, and it's hard to keep track of time when you're talking to him because the time and thing disappear. Can you just pop your little? There we go. What the? Did I leave the door open? No, I'm, I'm right here, buddy. I'm, I'm right. I'm... Fuck. Why? When when they talk, it just just there we go. Are you Esma, wife of Malik, the radio man? Yes, I am. A lot of questions, such little time. But why, do you have an offering for me, or are you going to try and fucking stab me to death? How does, how does this even know Malik's got a wife, he hasn't said anything like that? Yes, why? Oh, good thing, okay. I was thinking it probably would be, but it's not good. I'm suspicious of him. So, um, do you have anything to give me, or are you just... Thank me. Maybe some news. My wife has was being held prisoner. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here's some of that feel good love of being a hero. Saving lives. So you're not able to do it any of the other one. I guess it, it's more about you trying to survive than anything else. And I guess technically you can give stuff to the hospital. I guess that kind of leads to something, but... For every once in a while you encounter that thing where you can beat the old people or um, save someone at the wall, the mall, but... How can I repay you? I'm sure you barely scraped by like most everyone. And we just came upon a food cache. Yeah, that's... That will help. Okay, so helping people does pay out in ways that will help me to survive, so that's good. I'm I'm also concerned about getting weapons though, because even if I carry a lot of food bag, 
Half of it will probably be stolen by tomorrow. Or the day after I bring it back. You know what I mean? So, without weapons. Hell, yeah, without another survivor. I'm sure you barely scrape by like my. We just said that. Why are you leaping around again? This music because it's stressing me out. I'm like, I don't, I don't know how long it, this is actually consuming in my time, and I really need that food. So come on, just. All right, that was a considerable amount of time, but it wasn't as bad as I was. I had imagined. Because I was a bit stressful there. So he didn't help me out at all other than saying that there's a food cache. This is still going to be a poor prompt the room. Looks like there might be something down there. Can I even get there though? I'll check real quick. It just looks like this is a part of a um, mod shop, so there's probably nothing down there. It's just showing. So you get, so you know what you're looking, yeah. So you, just so you know what you're kind of looking at here. So you get an idea of, um, the environment of the city and shit. The military radio looks new, but recently used. A battery panel is open and the battery is missing. There are binoculars by also military use. He thanked me, so he's not recently used. They might. They're not coming after us, are they? They didn't use it to track us down, did they? I mean, why did they leave? It wouldn't have been because they're scared of this guy. That that's fucking foolish. And binoculars, so they were looking at something. So it's probably. But they're not that close to me. But they're also not far, oh, because it's in walking distance. It has to be. But if we're going by the map, then it's not something that you're just going to be able to use binoculars from that point to look into. Because they didn't take the binoculars. But they took the batteries out and ran. Oh god, can you run? I need you to run everywhere. Time's precious and people aren't here around trying to kill us. That door looks locked though. That door looks like it's got stuff on the back. It's gonna be all like, shit's locked. Nothing but useless trash, just always fucking useless trash. Come on, come on, let's, let's get as much shit done here as we can. Let's fucking run. I'll just click everything like three or four times now. Why? Wow, that's, why is that like got a black box around it? That's weird. Maybe that's the pro, it won't. Can I get up here? Oh yeah. Alright. I wonder why that's locked off. Maybe there are actually people in here. I think. Is that... Is that a fucking... Oh no, it's just a... Okay. <laughs> I thought that was like a... Mounted. Box with military mark. Things there's a battery inside. Looks like it'd fit. The radio in the shack. Why would he have taken the battery? Another piece of military gear. So there's something going on in this house. Trying to connect to the other thing. Hmm. And she said it seemed like they were recently here. I can't remember what she, why she said that, but nothing worth taking. Anything be fucking worth taking? My dog. I'm starving here to fucking get you some good supplies. Is that, is that such a thing? Is that a human? Please don't be military. Fuck it. Because there is military gear around. And I don't. 
I want to be able to rush through this area. I don't want to have to keep doing multiple runs. I want to find at least like food. I mean, generally with bandages, they're pretty good. You only should need one to fix. Oh, it's no bag. Oh, right. Of course. Right. And I get out the important talk. That's the stealing icon. That's not something I want to see. Because I want to get through. So he's probably not going to be willing to give it to me. Can I talk to you, buddy? Nice to see how this thing is going. Alright, well, while he's doing that, I'll try and... Someone else, he's got a kit. Oh, shit. Use batteries scattered on the ground, same type as the others. It seems that Novak uses the radio a lot. What for? He's not like an informant for the military, is he? He's not going to be that kind of guy that's saving his own skin by trading in his own friend, is he? Yeah, that's not something you want to say out loud when it's just there, but let's see what he has to say. Because now, I don't think I can do this, honestly. What brings you here? What the hell is that around him? That seat looks funny. Is that a wheelchair in someone around his waist? Like a. Is everything alright? No, no, everything is not alright. Like, your kid is having a blast here, but no one else, literally, in this whole fucking place. Yes, yeah, so we're fine. Bitch, you're starving. You're not fucking fine. <laughs> I'm not so well, actually. Not since Melina died. I feel like you should take your kid out of the room when you're discussing this, but let's go on. I'll have to consume all time. Why not? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear. Why has it been half an hour already? Fuck, I can't fly so quickly. I'm coping, I must, for my son. There's only him and me now. Well, yeah, that's how my people would take it. I would say good on him for doing so, but I guess, like, hmm. How else, how else are you really going to take something like that? Can you keep an eye on him for a... I, I don't feel like I can trust you. I am... <laughs> oh, God. Why? What, what are you going to go do? Why? What? I, I need to be fucking leaving. I'll fetch some food for him. Can you fetch me some fucking food? The fridge is right there. And he's right next to it. I'm pretty sure he could get the fridge food for himself. Oh shit. What if the time is almost out? Like, wouldn't I just have to... This is interesting, because generally in this war of mine, they haven't had anything like that occur, so... I'll wait, I'll wait. But if he, if he gets like, I don't want to have the same thing as last time, so I don't want to wait too long, and the time is already fucking close to it, so I'm not willing to wait long enough, but I don't, I don't trust this fucker though, I, if he wouldn't have the military in his house, would he, would he, would he? It seems kind of fucked up that he'd bring the military to me, though, when his kid's right fucking there. Then again, there is DLC where you can have the kids and play as them. I don't know what kind of fucked up shit. Like, maybe they can get gunned down. It'd be fucking brutal, but... Now you can't see his footsteps, so maybe... You don't know what's going on there. Catch me. And I'm supposed to follow the kid. It's really interesting what that what stuff they're doing with him. Like, they, he's gonna lead me to something fucked up, isn't he? 
oh shit, the time's running out though. Like, if I, if I didn't have to worry about the time, this would be really cool, but... More boxes with army markings, just like those in Novak's son's room. I haven't even been to his room yet, but he, he's leading me to a lot of clues. God. I don't... I want to I wanna do this, but I also want to fucking get back. What's this? Some kind of a list of names. Most of them look like... Look Vizani. With that... With those that do not have words... The words sympathizer written next to them. Some names have been ominously... Does this mean Novak is acting as a former for the Grand Z military? That's pretty much fucking evidence. I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> A list of names. Is he selling them out? God. I'm good. Oh, fuck me. Come on and catch me. The, the time's running out. I'm, this guy's gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna like lock me up or pull out a gun. Paper. Something just popped up in the bottom left. Authorizing the bearer to receive provisions at an army base on the. He's definitely an informant. That's fucking evidence. Hard evidence right there. Nova is working for the arm. Yeah. I need to get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> yeah, it seems like I need to talk to him. I can't believe this. We, we need to fucking go. You're too slow. Haha. No, yeah, no. I, I'm not. I'm not even working on right now. Not, not with you anyway, little kid. It's fucking serious shit. Some... I mean, I would talk. Yeah, but he might fucking kill me if I try and confront him right now. I mean, it feels like it would be the best thing if I could just confront him now. I mean, he's down there, so it's probably best not to run to him. But the game probably will, like wants to give you the choice to either wait or run to him. But I can't. I simply can't wait. And going to him by the time I get to him, I won't have enough time to escape. So I'll search his file and find him later. Maybe I'll get the chance to round my friend too. Maybe maybe it'll give me the ability to do that. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll go back. I'll I'll do stuff in the daytime. Then I'll come back here to talk to him again. See what happens. And you know, after then I'll report him. <laughs> To, I don't know, well, it's not really the authorities, but you know, to, to the fucking rebels. But, yeah. I mean, the last one was pretty fucked up too, but. The last story, and it, it ended on s such a point that it's like. Fuck. Like, there, there wasn't really much of like a. Any sort of happy ending or anything. It was like. It was super grim. It was more like he ended on like, this is what happened, you know? So I feel like it might be something I can see away upstairs. Oh. All right, let's see. Esmond's dilemma is appalling, but it seems that my old friend is selling people out to an army. I could report him to Malik. Dot, dot, dot. But he's... If something happens to him, what will become of his children? Children? I thought he only had the one. I'm sure that it, if if it were for them, he would never have done so. For her specifically, this makes a lot of sense. If this was Malik, then I know exactly what Malik would say, like, and do. But it because it's her, where she's caring about him and willing to do the same thing for him, it, it has a real nice spin on this, especially since she's the one that has to report this to him, adding this extra layer of depth to the game with this mechanic. Mm, I really like this, because this is the RPG aspect that you're seeing here, which I really like this. But let's, let's read what both of them are. I must tell M Malik about Novak's betrayal, regardless of the consequences, he should make it public knowledge. If we remain silent, all the people on the list will still be in danger. I kind of agree, but at the same time, I don't want to report him until I've talked to him. I had to run out because my my woman might be fucking 
What Novak is doing is abhorrent, but if Malik exposes him on the radio, his whole family will be in danger. I will tell Malik there's an informer among us without revealing his identity. Yeah, but we need the list. The, the, I agree that maybe like you shouldn't say his name if you want to protect him and his child. That makes sense, yeah. But you, you should give Malik the list so he can say who, who, who needs to protect themselves, you know, who, who needs to worry. So I'm leaning over to this one because, you know, this is the exact dilemma that I was talking about, actually, with the um, pulling the lever, because either I do nothing and a lot of people die and one person saved, or I pull that lever and kill one person and save, like, five people. So this is the exact dilemma. But in, in this chance, in, for my case, I'm going to kill that one person and save the others. <laughs> it's a real tough spin that they, fucking... <laughs> they make it a kid. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Man. Make it a fucking kid. That's a good spin. That is a good spin on the dilemma. And I'm. It's a good fucking dilemma to put in a lap. Plus, the friendship thing. People would probably be thinking too hard about that. They wouldn't even realize that that sort of dilemma that they're mentally putting into this game <laughs> oh fuck it's a good one i saved them bundle the fool cadaver of his world i was worried about that 